LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. Let's go, Socket, for number 10. Pitching down the wind chamber pressure is nominal. All right, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Falcon carrying Tower, yet again country. another stack of 60 Starlink satellites to orbit. Just moments ago, we throttled the engines down in preparation for max Q. That's the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure occurs right after we go supersonic. After this point, we're then able to Falcon throttle the engines back supersonic. up. That call is just about 10 seconds away. And we're just about a minute away from three major events happening one after another. Main engine cutoff, known as MECO, stage separation, and second engine start one. To explain the first one, MECO, this is where all nine M1D engines shut off and they slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage sep. And that's where, once again, the first stage and separate, second stage separate. Stage one makes its way back down to sea level for landing, and stage two continues its primary mission along with the fact that the MBAC engine lights up and propels that second stage along Falcon with the Starlink satellite story. following orbit. a nominal trajectory. We're 30 seconds away from those events. Falcon 9 continues to be on nominal trajectory. Max Q. We've successfully crossed the Max Q threshold. We're throttling our Merlin engines back up. As, we're, as the atmosphere gets thinner and thinner, the stresses on the vehicle continue to diminish. Shortly after these three events, our fairing will deploy and expose the Starlink satellites to the vacuum of space. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Invac ignition. All good news so far. The nine Merlin engines have shut down. Our first and second stages are heading their separate ways, and our MBAC engine has begun burning and will continue to do so for about the next six minutes. Everything is nominal so far. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Fairing separation confirmed. We have confirmation and you can see it there. The two fairing halves have jettisoned. About four minutes after liftoff, for those of you just joining us, we have a lot going on. On the right-hand side of your screen, you can see our second stage and its MBAC engine is burning, carrying 60 Starlink satellites to orbit. And on the other hand, we have our first stage uh, beginning its 10th recovery attempt. Um, as stage two continues to burn, as you see here, stage one is actually gonna execute two separate burns signals, in order to make its way back to Earth. The first of which is the entry burn. Just three of those M1D engines will reignite. This helps slow the, the first stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere and reduces the loads on the vehicle. After that burn uh, starts, ends, and is confirmed successful, we get ready for our final burn, the landing burn. It's a single center engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship safely.
Stage two FTS is saved. And as a reminder, we can't stress it enough, tonight marks the 10th flight for this particular first stage. This is a record for our Falcon 9 rocket's life cycle. This particular booster first debuted on our Crew Demo 1 mission just over a year ago. Now, reusability is critical to what we do at SpaceX. This fact that we can reuse our first stages, it allows us to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the ultimate cost to space access. Stage one, entry burn startup. And you can see that plume is starting to expand as the other two engines begin to fire. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. And there you go, the entry burn has successfully ended. And now we're just a little more than a minute and a half away from the Both final burn. Both continue to follow nominal trajectories. And we're only about 20 seconds away from that landing burn starting. And also during that time, our four landing legs will deploy um, while that single engine is firing to help us safely land on just read the instructions. Stage one, landing burn startup. See it there, our landing burns begun. Hopefully we get Stage continuous coverage. Terminal guidance. Stage one, landing leg deploy. We have continuous views right there. This looked great. Stage two FTS is saved. And Stage there you have it. Burn. We have a confirmation of a successful 10th landing of this booster and the 83rd overall successful recovery of the Falcon 9 first stage. Very exciting. This booster gets to live again. And we have confirmation from the GNC team that we are now in a good parking orbit. Second stage is now gonna coast in this orbit for the next 35 minutes or so. We'll leave you with two things. We're gonna leave you with this animation showing you where you're at in this coast phase. We'll see you back here around T plus 44 minutes for that second engine start to phase. Welcome back to the live webcast of SpaceX's 27th Starlink mission. We'll catch you up to speed. We're on a nominal trajectory and we're getting ready for the SES2 event in a few seconds. And then once this event is confirmed as being good, we'll wait to see if we have a good orbit before we continue our second coast phase before payload deploy. We'll check back in with you at about T plus one hour and three minutes. Good morning and welcome back once again to our broadcast for our 27th Starlink mission. Uh, one small note, shortly after we entered our current coast phase, we confirmed that our second engine start and shutoff was successful. We're currently in a good orbit awaiting payload deploy. Right now, we're coming up on deployment of our stack of 60 Starlink satellites. It's just about 30 seconds away while our second stage is in between Australia and New Zealand. And you see it right there, actually. Those satellites are starting to slowly extend. Um, and shortly after this, they're going to deploy their individual solar arrays. And over the next few days and weeks, they're going to distance themselves from each other and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their specific operational orbits. And, and with that, that will bring our webcast to a close for today. We want to thank the range and the Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. And thank you to you, all of our viewers, as well to all of our Starlink customers using our beta service at this time. Nominal payload if you're insertion. interested in being part of our beta program, please head over to Starlink.com and sign up. I hope you enjoyed the webcast tonight and a special thanks to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs>